So this here is the Chorsair or the Professional 600. It's a brand new stone that I just got. So very interesting. It's a splash and go, but it's actually soaking quite a bit of water. And so today I'm actually testing it on four Masamoto's because I'm doing another test for another video. But uh, yeah, and it's soaking up quite a bit of water as you can tell. So what I'm going to do now is throw it into the water bucket and see how much water it actually absorbs. Right here is just a little bucket I'm using. Yeah, it's absorbing a lot of water. You see there? Now it's not soaking up water like a soaking stone would, but this is definitely probably the thirstiest professional I have used. I think by far. Yeah, so you can see absorbing a lot of water. So I'll give it just a minute. And see there's quite, um, there's a lot of bubbles coming out, not as much as the soaking stone would, but you can still, you see plenty of bubbles coming up right now. So I'll stop when the bubbles stop coming out. And so as a quick note, what happens is even though this is a splash and go, and if I use it right now, if I were to use it without giving it, you know, pre-soaking for just a minute or two, uh, during the sharpening, the, all the water will just keep soaking into the stone and it just would feel very rough. Um, this is a 600 grit stone, so I am expecting it to absorb a little bit of water. Uh, so normally grits, you know, grits under a thousand, if they're splash and goes, they typically will absorb some water. And that's very typical of any splash and go whetstone. Yeah, so that was about a minute or so. We'll see on the other side. Okay. So I think now the surface looks like it's ready. It's not really absorbing any more water. So what I look at is the edges of the whetstone when I've got water on it and see how the water reacts. If it's soaking in or is it kind of just running down. If it runs down, you're pretty much ready to go. Uh, for those who are wondering what today's video is all about, I'm actually sharpening these four Masamoto's at the same sharpening angle so that I can test uh, a bunch of straps. <laughs> so, uh, yes, today's just kind of a a day in the shop, an average day in the shop here, just me sharpening knives. And so during the sharpening, I won't talk too much because I kind of get into, uh, into the zone, but afterwards I'll give you guys my feedback of the stone. Yeah, I think we're done here. Here's my 15 degree guide. Okay, here we are. Just as a little safety precaution here. Gives me a little bit of mon uh, muscle memory. Right there. Here we go.
Okay. All right, so you guys are all wondering what this stone is like. Um, so first off, this stone is very fast cutting, uh, with the exception of the first knife. I think all the of the other knives achieved the burr on both sides within two passes. And I think one knife had to go three passes just to make sure. But in terms of raw speed, this Professional 600 is very fast. I'm tempted to say Chosera 600, but uh, it's the professional. It doesn't have the base like the Choceras do. But um, it has a really nice, interesting feel. It's a splash and go, but it actually soaked more water than I have any than I've seen any other splash and go do, which is a little interesting, but not the biggest surprise to me because it is a 600 grit stone. Um, there are other stones such as the Zwilling um, Kramer Zwilling 400, which is a splash and go. It's also made by Naniwa and according to some sources it's the Chosera formula but that stone does soak up a lot of water as well so given that this is only 200 grit higher than the Zwilling or Kramer 400 I'm not surprised that it did take up uh, the water that it did but I'm surprised that it took up that it took up a lot more water than I expected it to in terms of again raw speed it's very fast in terms of feedback and feel it's a little bit I like this stone a lot more than the Chosera 400 or the Professional 400. I think it, it just has a much more organic feel to it. The 400, I felt like it gripped the knife too much and it just didn't allow the knife to move freely on the surface as this stone did. Between this and the 400, I definitely would choose this stone over the 400. To me, the 400 doesn't cut fast enough to be a 400 and it also doesn't give you that same feel that normally Choceras and, and Naniwa professionals offer in, in their whetstone lineup. So to me, this is definitely a better stone than the 400. Comparing this to the 800, I think that this is definitely much faster than the 800. Um, not a whole lot faster, but definitely noticeably faster. Uh, it doesn't have that same smoothness as the 800, so I'll have to go side by side between this and the 800 and see how they actually compare. In terms of wear, I think that it's actually a fairly w slow wearing stone. During the sharpening, not a whole lot of slur was developing and I did apply water when I needed to. And as you can see here, there's really there's a little bit of material on the mat here, but not a whole lot, it's mostly water. So in terms of wear, it's a very good wearing stone, very slow wearing stone, definitely in line with what you would expect from Naniwa's professional lineup. The 600 grit stone is a very odd stone to have, especially when you have the Chosera 800 and the Chosera 400 or the Professional 400 and the 800, you know, side by side these, all three stones are within 200 grit of each other. So the question is, why would you choose this stone over the 400 or the 800? I would choose this over the 400 because it's just as fast as the 400 and it has a much better feeling, uh, much better tactile feedback during sharpening. I would choose the 800 if you're looking for a finer stone to replace a 1000 you know, grit stone with. So between an 800 Chosera or 800 Professional and a 1000 something else, I would go with the 800 because it is faster than most 1000 grit stones and it feels just as fine and just as nice during sharpening. Between this and the Chosera 800, I would say that I would go with this stone if you wanted to replace a sharpening stone, a relatively coarse sharpening stone, and jump to a 2000 or 3000 after this. But if you were looking for a 1000 replacement, um, but you wanted something that is finer than the 600, obviously the Chosera 800 would be that stone. I would say if you were to stop at a lower grit, like let's say your polishing what stone is at between two and 3000, or even 4000, I would say that the 600 would be a better stone. If your polishing grit is between 5,000 and higher, I would say that the Chosera 800 would be the better sharpening stone to pick up. But overall, I think it's a very nice stone. I like the fact that it's very slow wearing. It has a really nice feedback during sharpening and it has a very fast cutting speed, which to me is very nice for a sharpening stone. The soaking more water to me is not really a big deal because most stones at the 600 or below will soak up water anyways, whether they're splash and go or not. And the, um, you know, the fact that it's very slow wearing to me is a huge bonus because typically stones in this grit range tend to wear very fast. And so given that this has, I would say, the same cutting speed as the 400 version, 
and it wears, I think, slower than the 400 is a huge bonus. All right, well, that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully that sharpening wasn't too boring. <laughs> to me, it's just an educational uh, process. And so now all of these knives are going onto the strop, and I'm testing strops. Uh, I'm testing newspaper, cardboard, leather, and what else? Oh, oh and strop with compound. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys are subscribed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.